What's happening, guys? And welcome back to the channel. And already at the start of November, five Premier League managers have lost their jobs. That's already a quarter of the teams changing their managers. Um, and one manager which we're going to concentrate on today is that of Frank Lampard. Obviously, Daniel Farker sadly lost his job at Norwich City, despite picking up their first win of the campaign last time out away at Brentford. Um, George Lampard, obviously, someone close to our hearts for all he did at Chelsea as a player and obviously what he did in his first season as a manager there. But he has been linked with the Norwich job, um, held talks with the club on Monday, as reported by The Guardian. He's obviously on a three-man shortlist, so there's no guarantee that he's a number one choice. He is just a choice. But it's interesting, though, isn't it, George, where Lampard kind of goes next in his in his coaching career? Because, you know, he had a good first season at Derby. I mean, ideally, he probably would have stayed there longer, but you can't say no when the Chelsea job comes knocking. I thought in his first full season, he did, he did very well, all things considered. Uh, developed youth. I know we kind of had to a little bit. We got in a top four and we got to an FA Cup final. I don't think you can complain too much. Obviously, kind of fell off the ropes a little bit and a, a run of two wins in eight games ultimately cost him his job. He's been out of the game for 10 months now. Um, how important is this next move for him to get kind of back on the coaching ladder and perhaps rebuild his reputation slightly? Yeah, it's, it's massive for Frank because there's, there's no question at all that that Chelsea sacking would have hurt him a lot I think I think over time we've kind of come to the agreement that it was probably a job too soon for Frank Lampard um even I'll sit there and admit that now I still I still think it was harsh I still think he needed time um and he wasn't given the backing what Norwich will give him is backing I think they will back him I don't think they'll go so as erratic as Chelsea where if he has a poor start because Let's face it, if he's going into Norwich, he's going into a job where they're almost resided to the fact that they're going to go down, um, bar a miracle. So if he keeps them up, he's an absolute hero and he re-establishes re that, that respect straight away. If not, it's expected and it's about rebuilding for next season. And we know how well he's done in the Championship with Derby. Okay, People will still say that he probably underachieved because of the, the, the quality of players and the, and the financial backing the players on loan he had at Derby to be able to get them to the playoff final. Should have probably got them automatically promoted. But um, tough one, Frank. I, I still think the Chelsea one hurts for him. And I think having a job that's so high up, it's, it's difficult to take second fiddle, but he's going to have to, I think. And the more I look at it, the more I think Norwich... It would, I don't think it would be an awful... I don't think it would be an awful suit. I think originally I said no, but... I don't think it would be that. I don't think it would be a terrible move for him. No, I mean it's interesting, isn't it, mate? Because you know he'll obviously be wanting to kind of go in at a slightly higher level, you would imagine. But it is interesting how kind of he has been overlooked for jobs. Like obviously the Aston Villa job seems like Steven Gerrard is is very close to taking that. You would think that Lampard would be heavily linked with that, not really linked at all. You know he was kind of looked at for the Newcastle job. They ultimately didn't want him. He held talks with Crystal Palace over the summer for whatever reason that didn't work out. Do you feel that, you know, clubs are perhaps of a slightly higher stature aren't willing to take a chance on him? Yeah, and I think that's that's exactly it because I think there's there's the higher up you go, the less margin there is for error, and they can't afford it. And yes, of course, you can sack a manager quickly, as you know, we support Chelsea. I mean, we see it almost as a manager a season or at least eighteen months, but. I don't think he knows. I think the next job is critical for his managerial development. I think if he has another really poor run of it, I think he'll probably take a step back. Um, and, and he's been out. He's been out of work for ten months now. So um, yeah, it's a re it is a really really difficult one for Frank and for clubs. But we, we don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into the process. I mean, they have an interview. They bring across their ideas. Um, you know we don't necessarily know what was said in these meetings or whether they just preferred another candidate. I mean, that can happen. You can have two very outstanding candidates and you just go with a hunch. You go with the one that you feel has potential or the one you want to go in the direction of the club. It might not fit the mould of the club, what Frank Lampard wants to, to do. Um, I know that Eddie Howe, the reason why he got the Newcastle job is it's been well documented that he did very, very well at the interview process, got the ideas across very, very well and kind of mirrored what Newcastle want to be. So... We don't know those details, but what we do know about Frank from working at Chelsea is I think a lot of credit for Chelsea's success has to go to him. And I think people need to look at that because it's easy to see Chelsea now on the back of winning the Champions League, how, you know, 
how poor Frank Lampard did in comparing it with Thomas Tuchel. It's not fair to compare with Thomas Tuchel, but yeah, the next move is crucial for him. I mean, somewhere like Norwich, I think, I think what Lampard personally for me needs next is like a, a project. Somewhere there, there's not pressure to deliver instantly, like at a, top, a bigger club there would be. I think he needs to go in somewhere where there's like an 18 month to two year project and whatever happens, he's backed and we'll, we'll, we'll see that through. Um, I think Norwich could be a great job for him in terms of, you know, they're a very well-run club. They've got some good young players. You know, Lampard is kind of well-known for working with youngsters. I think he could probably pull a few strings with this connection to get some good young players perhaps in on loan. I mean, they've already got the likes of Todd Campwell, uh, Max Ahrens at fullback, both very good players. Even Tim Krul in goals, you're not a youngster, but an experienced Premier League player. There is something to work with there. And I think the beauty of the Norwich job for Lampard would be the fact that there's no expectation for them to stay up. I think this would be a job that would be a project 18 months to two years where it would be looking at doing the best you can in the Premier League. Great if you stay up, but we're looking at coming back up from the Championship next season. Um, George, do you feel that that's kind of, that it's a project is what he needs now rather than kind of the pressure of a big club again? Yeah, and I, it, you, you mentioned it there, that the most important thing is that he's backed. Regardless of the outcome, he's backed. He's given the time that he's promised to see if it works. And, and then there, you can then really establish Frank Lampard's career because we had a bit of a mixed match at Chelsea where he had an excellent first season and then a poor back end of his second season. And people were all very critical saying that, you know, Frank Lampard simply wasn't up to the job. But I don't think that's fair to say. I think he needed the time to see if he could turn it around. I don't think he was given that opportunity. And like you said, at Norwich... They're not being expected to pick up points or wins or even stay in the league. So for him, if he's given a second year to maybe get them back up in the championship or if he stays in the Premier League, I think he'll be an instant hero there. So, yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think it is the right fit for Frank Lampard. And he's, he's going to have to accept it. The, the difficulty is where they cross paths is whether Frank Lampard's prepared to go in at a club. Well, we say that low, but they're in the top 20 best English clubs in football if you think about it logistically so I mean I think he's gonna have to bite the bullet at some point to go into that lower end before he gets another job like Chelsea I think that's just an, an uh, inevitability yeah I, I, I 100% agree I think you know if offered this job I do think he should take it because then if he if he doesn't take it you're looking at it and you think well where is Frank Lampard going to get a job in the Premier League that is going to be better than a Norwich City, for example. I don't really think there's going to be many clubs that would offer Lampard a better job. I think it's a good project for him. It gives him a chance to get his ideas across, rebuild perhaps his confidence. You know, I think the Chelsea thing, as you say, could have hit him quite hard, maybe knocked his confidence slightly. Um, and it gives him, a, a club like Norwich gives him a chance to get his ideas across. Obviously, Lampard's well known for kind of, you know, playing attacking football. Um, not so well known for the defensive side of the game. That's obviously something that he would massively need to improve on. Um, his teams have let in a lot of goals in the past. But uh, look, the more you think about it, I, think, I do think this is a good fit. And I think if he's offered it, I think he'd be kind of, it'd be wrong of him to turn it down. But George, my last question on this to you is, do you think uh, Lampard will, would accept the Norwich job? Do you think, can you see him being the next Norwich City manager? Uh, yeah, I can. And I, I almost want him to take the job because I truly do believe, and I'm, this is non-Chelsea hat on, I truly do believe that Frank Lampard is a good enough manager to manage in the Premier League. I, I, if you look at people like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he's 100% better than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I'm sorry. I mean, you just have to look at what he did with Derby County and his first season at Chelsea alone to know that, you know, he could bring young players through. He's got a really good football brain, as we know, as he was from a player. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a perfect fit for him. And, and I really hope that he does come back in the Premier League and manage because I believe he belongs there. And I hope he proves a lot of people in the Frank Doubt is wrong. Yeah, no, I think, I think you know, he's probably going to have to slightly lower his expectations if he wants to come back in the Premier League. And I think this would be a great fit for him. So, I mean, if offered it, I do feel he should take it. And I think he could kind of build something quite good there. But obviously it remains to be seen. Guys, as always, that's just myself and George's thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you smash a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. We really appreciate all of your support and we'll catch you in the next one.